Yes, we would slightly. We've got 12 very good players and a lot of youngsters, really. So it'll be a chance for the youngsters to try and break through, really. So I'd, I'd like to see a few of us get in the test side. What about the fitness of Keith Boyce? Because there will be a lot of weight on his shoulders, particularly if one or two of you go to test matches. Yes, well, Keith's got to work at his fitness. And uh, we're going to depend a lot on him. We're sure to lose John Lever. That's what's certain. So Boyce is going to be the spearhead of our attack. So he's got to keep fit. So he's got to do a lot of work. And the young players like Graham Gooch and Ken McEwen, we haven't seen the best of them either, have we? Kenny... McEwen is a magnificent player. If he was English, he'd be an even side comfortably. He's a very, very fine player. Graham, in my opinion, should be an England side now. He should have gone to India. This is just my opinion, of course, but he should definitely have gone. Nine different counties have won the county championship in the last nine seasons. Now, you would think that it's fairly even that you spread around. Has Essex got the chance this time, do you think? No, we've got a very good chance. It's, it's always luck, of course. If we all play to our potential, then we'll, we'll be there and thereabouts. You've come very close, particularly in the one-day competitions in the last few years. Now, what extra would you need, do you think, to tip yourself over the top to win something? Uh, well, this, I believe, Mike and Ness might give us. He might give us a bit more experience in the middle of the batting order. He can play right the way through with our tail and help them through. We've lost games that we shouldn't have lost, mainly through our batting. We've always bowled well in one-day games. Our batting, chasing small scores, 160, which we should have got. We missed out on three last year. If we could have won two of those, then we'd have walked it. But one day cricket seems to be your best chance, doesn't it? Uh, I think we've got a chance in everything. But one day cricket, like the Benson Hedges and the Gillette, we're going to be at our full strength. So we're looking to one of those two. What about Keith Fletcher and his season? Test team or is it Essex? I'd like to play, of course, but... I'm interested in Essex. I'd like to see us win something. If I had an ambition this year, it would be for us to win something rather than the South Lake for England. breakthrough for you in India. Why was this particularly? Was this just the opportunity that everybody wants or was this a new John Lever? I think it was just the opportunity really. I don't think uh, somebody changes their action or changes their attitude towards cricket in just overnight. It was just an opportunity. Things went well. Every snick was caught. Every LBW was upheld, which makes a change, especially overseas. Does this mean you come back with more experience, but any changes in technique, anything you've worked on? Um, a bit more experience, yes, obviously. Uh, I think bowling overseas is a matter of plugging away at line and length, and I've realised that more than ever. And I think it will serve me in good stead over here. The same sort of approach? The same sort of approach, but um, perhaps just a little bit more professional. And then when you came back from that four months, you nipped off to, to South Africa for, for a few days. But how is that just... <laughs> How is that going to affect your performances throughout a long summer here? No, it won't. I don't feel at all tired. In fact, I'm looking forward to the season very much. You don't need that much of a break, I don't think. Just enough to let your body recover. And some people say the mental pressures are quite high. Well, probably for a batsman, especially if you're not getting runs, that might be true. But as a bowler, I think you can. You get through, you just feel a bit tired physically. That's all.